invite the guest of honor, Mr. Lingi Chetty, who is the Council for Commerce for Government of India, and who is representing the Council General of India, Mr. Rajiv Chander, who was unable to come, who had a last minute cancellation. Mr. Lingi Chetty, we expect, we request you to come on the stage and give a few words to our Telugu audience. Antariki Namaskar Mandi. Bangunara. I hope you are all enjoying. Yes. Only that much of Telugu I know. Sorry, I'm shifting to uh, English just out of love and respect for your language. So don't uh, get me otherwise. So, first of all, Happy Diwali, even though it is, uh, we are celebrating a week later, uh, still uh, my hearty greetings to all of you. On my behalf, as well as from the Council General, who cannot make it to this occasion at the last minute, he was very keen to come, but the High Commissioner uh, from Ottawa is visiting here, so he has to accompany him to Victoria, that's why he has asked me to come. So I am really privileged and honored to be in the midst of you. So actually, it's such a wonderful uh, atmosphere. The best thing for me would be to just to say Happy Diwali and be done with it. Without brevity, whatever I've jotted down, I'll uh, try to be brief. You know, uh, um, I uh, first thank Mr. Uh, uh, Mangaram and his wonderful wife, uh, Malti, and other organizers. I know Mr. Uh, Mangara and a uh, few others for uh, personally coming to the consulate and uh, extending the invitation. We are deeply privileged. And uh, I, being a native of Tamil Nadu, which is your close uh, neighbor of Andhra, Andhra Pradesh, and a place where Telugu people are in significant number and who have been uh, part and parcel of the political and cultural life there. So I'm happy to be here and uh, I feel very much at, at home being in this function. You know, personally, I, I like Telugu people not only because I like Tirupati Laddu or um, ma Masala movies or your uh, Hyderabadi Biryani, but uh, I also like the simple nature and uh, the unassuming behavior of uh, Telugu people. You know, they're, they're, they have contributed a lot to India. Much of it has uh, gone either unnoticed or under-recognized. So in that way, I personally, I, I like these people because they are very uh, unassuming, unassuming, but their contribution is legendary. Either if you take this scholar like Sarve Pillai Radha Krishna or um, the pioneer of the economic liberation, uh, liberalization, uh, our ex previous prime minister, P.V. Narasi Marao, or your uh, musical scholarly saints like Tyagaya, or uh, Annamacharya, or scientist engineer like Vishweshwaya, or even the present-day uh, legendary singers like S.P. Balasubhanapani Garu, P. Sisila Garu, Gantasala, the, the old singers like Gantasala Garu. So the list is endless. But uh, I, I personally feel that they have not got the recognition they deserve. But nevertheless, that, that, that goes to the um, greatness of the Telugu people. So, uh, you know, even my childhood, uh, I see. I have grown up watching uh, mythological Telugu movies, reading Chanda Mama comics. So I am also a bit of my. There is some Telugu culture ingrained in me. So I am personally thankful for, for that. The Telugu people also have uh, observed that they have been good storytellers, and uh, watching your know, present-day movies like Bahubali, I think you are continuing that tradition. And good luck to you all. So now coming to the Telugu diaspora, you know, initially, uh, 
I personally again observe that they are very home loving people. Uh, they, they actually, they are content what they have and uh, and uh, where they live. They, they content being where they live and uh, be all about what they have. But initially they started migra migrating to ESA in very small numbers, maybe for some medical professions in the 60s. But with the IT boom in 80s and 90s, they really, they, they came to ES in very good numbers. And now they are, they are the most visible, the South Indian diaspora you can see in the US. Uh, and led by Satya Nadella, I think really they have taken the Silicon Valley by storm. So uh, I, this uh, American dream of Telugu people is still continuing. And I am glad that they also made a place here in this province of British Columbia. So in that context, I congratulate the efforts of uh, Vata to bring the uh, Telugu people of both Andhra Pradesh and uh, Telugana on this di uh, dais and for having a get-together like this. So I, I congratulate again for the organizers. And at the consulate, let me uh, convey that after the visit of the, uh, our Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the relationship relation between Canada and uh, India are in exciting times, and it is expected to get stronger and stronger. So all the diaspora communities are expected to play their part, and I seek your contribution and future uh, encouragement to the consulate in this. You may be aware that our visa policy is also being liberalized very strongly. Even the Canada has taken several steps and we are also, we have also been taking a lot of initiatives in that. We have, we have started a lot of community outreach programs also. And so let, let us all work together because India ultimately, it has to gain its place in the world. So it will be possible only be, because of contribution of the diaspora community in which the Telugu community, I feel, can play a very, very big part. So th good luck to all of you. And again, happy Diwali. Please go ahead and enjoy the program. Thanks for patiently listening to me. Thank you.